Brian. Yeah, Aliana, we hear how places like at airports, for example, workers there are trained to look for any signs of sex trafficking. Well, this is happening as well in the technology world, all in an effort to stop this horrific crime. Now, here are some of the details of this project that began in November of 2018. It's called Project Artemis. Basically, Microsoft and other developers had this hackathon, if you will, and created patented technology that can flag text-based chat conversations of illegal content. In this case, child sex, sexual exploitation or luring. Now, if a chat is deemed potentially dangerous, conversations can be sent to law enforcement or several organizations like the National Center for Missing or Exploited Children or the Internet Watch Foundation. Now, in a blog post by Microsoft's Chief Digital Safety Officer, Courtney Gregoire, she says this is a significant step forward in stopping this, but is by no means a panacea. Microsoft is making this technology available to other online companies. Uh, we spoke with a sex trafficking survivor who now helps others, and she says people need to wake up to this issue. And the average age of entry is like 12 to 14 years old at this point. Wow. Unbelievable. And they look for victims who don't, who are vulnerable, who don't have families, foster kids. Now, as for the technology, it was being used on Microsoft's Xbox. The company, though, has plans to test it on other services like Skype. But starting tomorrow, Microsoft is basically handing this technology over to a nonprofit company named Thorn, which was co-founded by actors Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore. They've been very outspoken about stopping child sex trafficking. The nonprofit's objective is to stop sex trafficking and exploitation through technology. And online companies who are interested can contact Thorne, the nonprofit, to get it. David, back over to you. All right, Brian, thank you.